Hey guys, this is Tom Fem here with an RPG Maker MV tutorial on how to convert your project into a Android or iOS application. I'm going to be doing this with Intel XDK, so if you don't have that program already, go to their website, the link will be in the description, download and register with them. It's very important that you do register because it's going to save you some headache later down the road. Anyways, once you have that stuff installed, go to your project and go to File, Deployment, of course, I want to save my game. Select Android slash iOS and the root of the location that you want to save it to. And then once you go to that location, once it's saved, you'll notice that there is a folder called www there. Now most of the time when you export to a mobile platform, you do have a size limitation. You want to try to shave off as much files as you can. So Maybe there's some audio files in here that you don't need, or certain images that you might not need, need either. So let's go to, I think I don't, I won't need, I don't think I'm, I'm going to need any of these pictures. So I'm going to get rid of faces, animations, battle backs, enemies, parallaxes, and let's see how much we're at right now. Eh, that's not too bad. Let's see if it works. So, leave that open. Go to Intel XDK. Once you start it, you probably have to log in. But start a new project and select either HTML Cordova or just standard HTML5. doesn't really matter. Well, it does, but I won't get into that yet. Click Continue. Name your project. Let it do its thing. And it'll ask you if you want to do a quick tour, select no. And then on the left side where you see the www, right click and then click on show in Explorer. You'll notice that there's already a www in there. You want to delete that file and then replace it with your www folder. Go back to Intel XDK, see if it works by emulating it. And cool, it does. Go to build, and then let's build for a crosswalk. And give this a moment. You'll notice that it's finished now. You just want to click build app now and let it do its thing. When it's finished, you'll be able to download your APK file. Just select a destination and allow it to download. You won't see a progress bar, so you'll have to check the file size to make sure it's not growing anymore. Uh, before you know it, that it's completely finished. So if we go to our desktop, there's the zip file that it's um, that it's being created. Just go to properties, and until you stop seeing this grow, um, then I wouldn't mess with it. Once it's finished downloading, double click on the zip file, and you'll notice that you'll have two APKs in here, one for an ARM processor and the other for an x86. If you have a phone that's running off of an ARM, most of you are, you want to select the first one and download this into your phone and install it. You of course want to make sure that you enable unknown sources and see if it works. So let's load this into my phone and see how it looks like. So I just installed it on my phone and let's go ahead and run it. Cool. It does show up. Music works, that's cool. And as you can see, you can move around. And it works.